guys so excuse everything behind me and my kind of bit of a mess that I am right now I really wanted to get this video out for you guys and um, this is a requested video it is about my home management binder um, I have a couple more than one so I will show you guys these and before I start showing you everything and then I'm going to say this quite a few times so if you get tired of hearing it I'm sorry links below to my Pinterest page that has all of these printables on it I will definitely have that linked below I'm not sure if I will have all the printables linked below I will try but that's a lot of things to link for you um so my Pinterest page as well as I will link the exact Pinterest board where everything in this binder is um again the links will be below and um if you want any of the printables i made myself you just friend me on facebook and i will send them to you or message me here and i will email them to you um and any printable i made myself i also got from someone else um i got like the little like daily life journaling cards that i put into like a collage from someone else and those are all on my pinterest board um i made absolutely nothing in here by myself so i'm that's totally, I'm not at all trying to take credit for anything that's in this binder. Um, I did make this binder myself. I printed everything out, designed it the way I wanted to. I edited a few documents to make it the way I wanted it. But again, I really did find all these printables online. So I'm more than willing to give credit where credit is due. So, and my Pinterest board does have the correct links. Like if you click on it, it will take you to the correct page. A lot of Pinterest boards don't. So mine does. So let's get started. This is probably gonna be a long video, so grab some popcorn and a pen and paper if you wanna take any notes, and let's get to it. Uh, I'm sorry for like the weird shadows and stuff. I'm sitting right behind our window, so you'll get whatever you get. This is my home management binder. This is the first one. I have two, I'm about to make a different one. And the only reason that I have more than one is because I know myself and I know how I organize. And I love those of you who have Absolutely everything that you need in one binder, it's perfect for you, but that is not at all how I work. This is very much my binder that I get into every day that I do everything in is this binder. And I just, um, I got this printable off of someone, I don't know your name, I'm sorry. Um, again, links are below. And then this is just a scrapbooking page. The pink is just a scrapbooking page. This binder, I cannot say enough things about. It has a two... A little pocket here and then a big pocket here on the inside so there's two pockets and then it's just a one finger open and close right here instead of having to you know unhint unhook all of those so that's a huge thing that I love about this binder I actually have two of these I'm gonna go buy some more I got them at our local office mart but I'm sure that staples in one whenever you open my binder the first thing in it is my 52 days of organizing challenge sheet and everything in this binder is in these little protective covers and I love them because if you write on them with sharpie you never mess up the page so see I can just pull that out and change it for whatever I want it to be and sharpies don't just wipe off um I've used these protective sheets before with like dry erase markers and whenever you're writing they just wipe off and with sharpies they don't uh, you color over it with a dry erase marker and then it wipes off, but just by itself it doesn't wipe off. So I really like that. Okay, now to get to more of the actual binder. And none of these are in order. Um, this whole section gets changed around based on what I need for the day and what I think should be at the front and top of my binder. The first thing in my binder today is a things to do list. And you see, I just got some things to do and I only use the front of the pages because when I, they're open I don't like to use these backs I'm funny like that I only write on the front of like notebook paper too I'm just weird um, then this is I have two of these one of these is hanging on the wall in my office and it is much more my daily things to do this is kind of my weekly things to do if that makes sense and it goes in my binder because some days I get everything on this done and it's nice to kind of see weekly Next, this is a printable that I made, uh, kind of made. Again, I got all of these like cute little, like the Wednesday and the Tuesday. I got these off someone else from on Pinterest and their links will be below on my Pinterest board. 
And this is kind of my cleaning schedule. And I love, I used to have one all typed out and printed that you guys will see. And I love that I can change this one because some weeks, uh, Wednesdays are my busy day. And some weeks, Sundays I have a lot of kids or Tuesdays I have a lot of kids. So I really like that I can kind of change this up and write what I need to do each day on this. Next is this awesome, oh man, I forgot I had those in there. Uh-oh, love. Hold on, let me grab something out of the back of my binder. Okay, this will make it a lot easier to show you guys. Uh, next is this awesome printable, and I don't, um, organizinghomelife.com. I got a lot of printables from her, I want to say. She has, there's a lot of people who have a lot of fun printables that just didn't work for me or I didn't like them so much. Um, I'm really picky with what I know that I will use. Um, it's taken me years. I've been a stay-at-home mom, wife for four years now, um, since I was 18, so a little over four years now. And it's taken me those four years to kind of find out what works for our family and what works for me organizing. Um, as a kid, I was a really disorganized person. I'm not organized. My room used to be that room in the house. But, like the door shut, got shut whenever people came over and you're just like, Ugh. oh man, my house some days looks like that. But I really, I really am working on learning to become organized. And I think it's hard because most of like the organizing stuff that you see are people that were just born that way. Um, I think you are born organized or you are not, or you grew up in a household that was very organized or not, and I, my mom is a born organized person, I am just not. So I'm, this, this binder is what works for me. So I'm sorry for rambling, I'm really rambling, okay. So I got this cute little printable and you can break it down by hours and then every hour is broken into 15 minutes, which if you know me, I do a fly lady. So you can do anything in 15 minutes. And I really like that, you know, I can write like dishes and I ha can do dishes in like five minutes. But then I have that other 10 minutes to do whatever else is around the house, which is really nice for me. Next, um, this is from iheartorganizing.blogspot.com. And this is just a peek at the week. And you write the week of and then Monday, all the other, and then next week. Then a to-do spot, a to-eat, and to buy, and then a little thoughts. And I love this for my babysitting kids because I can write what kids are going to come and know if we have like any activities or if there's anything big going on that I need to be like, oh wait, I need next week off or something like that. I write it on here so that I remember. Next is this to-do list. I don't know where I got this from. Um, I do know that it costs money to get. Um, there are ways to get around that, but I don't suggest them. Um, this is, I have the correct printable on my Pinterest page, but I really like that I can break this up. Colton. I really like that I can break this up into, you know, my living room, my bathrooms, my bedroom, Colton's bedroom, our kitchen, and our toy room, so that I kind of have, you know, it broken up, and there's just a few things. There's five in each area. Or I can do, like, every day or the six days of the week, whatever I want to do on this, I really like this one. And then, this is not correct at all, um, but I like this. It is uh, imperfect, uh, imperfecthomemaking.com. I love this. Um, it's for your blog, but I use it for my vlog and blog. I also have one of these printed on my wall in my office that I keep much more up to date than this one and I like that it has to do to photograph to get and also because how many times do you forget to photograph something or you go to write a blog post and you need something so I really like that and then Monday Tuesday through Friday then she also has another one from again imperfectwillmaking.com and this is a Monday through Saturday one and this one's a little different if you see it has dinner plans, blog posts, and then to-dos, which um, if that's how you write your blog, like if you do your blog at dinner time or with your family, this would be wonderful. I like it. Um, it lets me plan for next week a little bit more than I, I like being able to plan ahead. This one is actually probably the only thing that I actually have filled out in here. 
other than a couple little things that you've seen. And this is from iheartorganizing.blogspot.com. Oh my goodness, guys, I can't talk today. And this is, it's got a cute little quote, and it says, he who gains time gains everything from Benjamin... Is this real? Okay, sorry, I totally butchered that guy's name. But it's kind of, it starts at 5 o'clock in the morning and goes to 11 o'clock at night. And it's all broken up into, it's all broken up into half an hour increments. So I can write what we do every half an hour. And it's kind of nice to see, especially for like babysitters or when the kids are here or um, my husband when he wants to know if we can do something like you know between two o'clock and four thirty, do not ask me and it's nice uh we don't always follow the schedule but i'm really working on getting a solid routine down for every single day so this works wonderfully this is another printable that i made um and it just has four little corner four little squares in it and I used it for a long time like this to have my morning, afternoon, before bed, and other um, daily to-do list. And this list needs to change a little bit. So um, I will be re-editing this list to put a new one in here. Um, this page right here actually is like my storage page. And it also has another daily docket. And I really like it. Um, it's kind of cute. And I got it from someone. It's copyrighted. Um, Aholyexperience.com is who it's from. Sorry. And it's very cute. I want to say this is who Marie got her idea from. To have it kind of like broken up into little things. And I really like it. But it's just not for me. It's much more... Um, it's too small for my writing, honestly, and it's got like this cute little Devo thing, and I'm just not doing Devos right now, so that's, I just, I like it, I've used it before, I put it in here, so in case I decide to reuse it again. So next is another one that I kind of made, and it's just, again, a Monday through Friday thing, and it's a little different, um, as you see, it has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it's kind of out of order but I liked it that way for a long time because my Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday were really busy days and Thursday was our fun day out of the house and we just had a couple like Colton had to do his toy room and then Saturday and Sunday and Friday it's just how our family used to work and it doesn't work that way anymore so I stopped using it but I still have it because you never know if you're going to need it again and another one that I made that again is a Sunday through Saturday thing. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And this Friday is super teeny tiny. So for some families that works, again, it used to work where Wednesday was our busy day. So I needed to try lots of things on Wednesday. But I didn't need to do anything on Friday because I didn't have any kids and whatnot. So I really like these. I use them a lot. Colton, and if you want any of these, again, just ask me and I will easily print them. Okay. Now, we're kind of through the printables that I use every day. And then I have notebook paper in case I need anything. <laughs> then I have a 21 day of organizing challenge and a 40 bags in 40 days challenge. I also have a different 40 bags in 40 days challenge in here that I'm not going to pull out for you. Um, I'm not doing any of these until after my 52 day challenge. I have another little divider. The only thing that I don't like about these dividers is if you see, because I use the sheet protectors, the dividers are behind, like, the sheet. So you don't see them. Oh, please be nice. And then these, this green one is my cheat sheet slash cleaning. And these are, again, printables from Pinterest. Piggly.com is what it says on this one. And it's 10 Remarkable DIY Cleaning Solutions. And I really do use these. I love I love having these cheat sheets. Uh, this one doesn't say where it's from. But it's simple tricks that make you look smart. So, and that's kind of fun things just to know and to have in there. And then alternate uses for vinegar. 
a, uh, and I don't know who that one's from either. This one, oh, I'm sorry, I don't know what it, I want to say it's one good thing. No, I don't know. All the links are below, but I like this one. It's cute. Then a clean kitchen um, from Curbly.com. A list of like a deep cleaning list just to have. Also, I have one for the bathroom. They have other ones, but for some reason I couldn't get them printed. And I'm going to work on getting it. They ask you for like a membership or something. So next I have uh, paper purge tips. And it tells you how often to save it and when to shred it. And then this is I do baby signs with the sign with I do baby sign language with the babysitting kids. So it's nice to have a cheat sheet when parents are like, "Hey, my kid's doing this sign. What does it mean?" So next one I really like this I'm going to be printing more of these actually to have for all my babysitting kids and my sister and I didn't fill anything out on this so that you can see it uh, I do not know where I got this I highly suggest getting this even if you already have a binder and you're not using these right now I love them you put a picture here your fingerprints down here and this is an adult ID kit so you Right in your address, birth date, gender, um, any birthmarks, moles, scars, anything important about yourself, allergies, you know, all that stuff. And I have two of those for my husband and I. And then Colton's, again, picture, fingerprints, names, socials, birth dates, gender, any of those. And then I like on the kids' one, it says primary caregivers phone numbers and as well as a secondary phone number uh, for like mom and then babysitter or mom and grandma or mom and daycare I really like that lastly that I've never used before um, Golden only ever goes to family if he leaves us but I'm going to be looking um, we're considering moving across the country and I'm definitely going to need a babysitter while I pack and whatnot. So this is a nice for the babysitter. And this is my favorite one. It's from OrganizingHomeLife.com again. And I love this one. It's um, where you'll be, the address, when you'll be back, your home phone number. Uh, it gives permission to answer the phone or the door. Uh, emergency contact information routines because this is something as a babysitter um when I used to go to people's houses to watch their kids type thing I loved knowing what their regular routines is um how you handle discipline because that's a big one that a lot of parents forget to tell people and then other notes and that is pretty much all that's in this binder um this is an in-place binder as you see I do also keep in this binder uh, for right now anyways there's an they have another home but right now um, I have an Ikea catalog I have the 2013 Ikea catalog because like I said we're considering moving across the country and may or may not be needing that I also have two storage magazines from uh, Better Homes and Gardens I actually just got this one today they finally they finally had a new one in our stores. So I love these magazines. Um, if you're looking for a good storage magazine, I really like these. There's like fun little ideas in there for where to put things in your house and all kinds of fun things. But this is just my, like I said, my everyday binder. I do have a few other binders that are much quicker than this one. If you made it this far, thank you. Um, I'm hopefully... I'm hopefully going to have like little links below that if you just want to like see certain things you can click. I don't know really how to do that. But if you noticed in this binder, I did not have anything to do with money or a calendar. So, or like meal planning or grocery shopping or anything like that. So, here is kind of how I go about that. I have a notebook. This is a cute notebook from Studio C. 
in one minute, okay? And it has a little pocket here as well as uh, like a lift flat pocket. And then two tabs. And it's just like regular old lined paper. And I write things throughout the day in there that I know that I'm going to need. Then I have this notebook from Five Star. And this is my shopping list. Again, just like a little notebook that I put my shopping list in. I also have this that is stickies. The, they're from Post-it. They're like little sticky notes with cute little designs on them. And they get stuck around my house for if there's anything important that I need to tell someone. Kayla from Obs and Lala said she has a problem with uh, notebooks. Guys, my name is Rose, and I have a problem with calendars. These are four of my calendars. I also have a big one on my wall. And they all have different purposes. So this one is just a weekly planner, and it looks kind of like this. Uh, my mom gave it to me. I really like it. I was before my 52-day challenge. Uh, there's some in the fridge. Before my 52-week challenge, um, I was writing down, like, little things to do. And I really overwhelmed myself if you see, like, oh, man. So I'm going back through, and I'm using this for my 52-week challenge to have it in another spot to kind of check it off and to write what I did for my blog and vlog is in this one. This cute little baby goes in my bag along with my shopping list, and it is from uh, Blue Sky Color Imagination, whatever you see, uh, from Walmart. And it looks kind of like this. Oh. And I use this for keeping track of my babysitting kids and if I have any big events that I know I'm going to need off for. And I use these cute little, um, these little, like, stickers. And they peel off really nicely and re-stick. So that's how I know which week it is. Next, and that one's for my babysitting kids. This one is for my day-to-day -day life. And I love this one because it has just, like, bullet points. So I can get a lot more in there. This is from Imagine Life Easy. It's from the same people, but it's a different name for them, and I really like it. And I prefer calendars that start in January than in September. Last but not least, another planner. Looks like this. And this one is for... Good job. This one is for our bills. Um, a lot of people have super duper easy um, when they get paid. Oh, we yes. do not. My husband gets paid the same day every week, uh, but it's different varying amounts. And I watch a lot of kids, and every parent pays me on a different pay schedule and a different amount, and it varies. Um, they pay me per day that they're here, but they pay me a weekly rate. So you pay me a weekly rate, and then it gets deducted from what days you're here. So I have to keep track of all of that in one spot, plus our bills and everything else goes into this one. And this is usually inside of this binder. This binder does not currently have a cover on it because I've been lazy and did not put one on there. Again, it's a cute little from same people, which I don't remember. It's called In Place. And this is from printablepaper.net, and this is where my bills go. Uh, this is a weekly budget. It's what you planned, what you spent for the whole month. You can see like week one, week two, week three, week four. We usually spend over on these two weeks and under on these two weeks, but it's very frustrating. I'd like to get it. Go get two now. I'd like to get it so to where it's very nice. And I really like that it keeps, it has lots of different uh, categories. Then I also, this book is front and back because I just didn't need to just have the fronts on it. I'm not in here every day. Uh, this, I have our plan actual and difference and it's a monthly budgeting thing. And once I'm done with all of this, I do, um, I snap a picture of it and I keep that picture 
and I print them out after I have four. I print them out on like the, I want to say four by six, four on a page, and they go into my black calendar so that I kind of know how our yearly expenses have gone. Then this one is from organizinghomelife.com again. One minute and I will. And this is an annual bill schedule, and you say what day of the month the bill is due, what the bill is, and then you can check it off uh, throughout the months. And I really like being able to see, um, we pay, look at this. Look when we get our tax return, we pay our bills in advance for six to eight months, depending upon how big our tax return is and how long we're going to be living somewhere. Like this year, we're only going to pay four months in advance because we'll only be here for four months. But it's nice to know, like, we have these bills paid through and not to have to worry about them at all. And that's it in here.